angel. It's nothing. Go back to sleep. I do not wish for you to go. Not yet. The seas will stay calm enough for you to depart a few hours later. Mm. I do not wish for you to part from my arms. Selfish? Yes. I am quite selfish. You are my precious treasure. One that I do not wish to part with. Shall I keep you under lock and key? The precious lady in the tower? <laughs> I know, mi amor. It doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. Nevertheless, I will uphold our deal. Two weeks, not a moment more. Do I make myself clear? Mm. Good. <sighs> Damn bells! I shall have them removed. I do not wish to know the time. It taunts me. I know. Just five more minutes. Are you that excited to leave me? <laughs> this will be no vacation. You understand this. Bueno. Entonces, with that in mind, I am sending the Night Capitan with you. Ah, be glad I am not sending the entire palace guard with you. I have been advised that would be too telling about our intentions with your kingdom. Be that as it may, the Night Captain and the contingent of the King's Guards will escort you there. They are under orders to remove you by force if necessary, should things become too dangerous. I implore you, Angel. Please listen to him. The Night Captain is a smart man with good instincts. If he tells you something, listen to him. These two weeks will feel like an eternity. It will be the first time we've been apart since we were wed. My bed will be so cold without you beside me. I could never grow weary of you, Angel. How could I with that body that captivates me so? Hmm? Hush, Angel. We have time. I will take my fill of you to survive the next two weeks. <laughs> no, no. Stay just like that. Isn't it obvious? I wish to taste you, mi amor. <laughs> no, do not blush, angel. I want you to watch me. Seeing your face contort in pleasure drives me mad. Oh, really? And when I touch here. Mm, see? You're excited. <laughs> hey, you are my wife. There is nothing to be embarrassed about. I want to taste you because I wish to bring you pleasure. It's not something for you to fret over. Do you hear me? Bueno. No more nonsense, then. My patience grows thin. 
Angel, your touch always sets me aflame. Ah, I see. Ah, what a view. Having you on top of me makes you look like a conquering goddess. And will you have your way with this lowly human then? Mm. Ah, anything. Everything. I see. Just keep touching me. No. No, it's only ever been you. I am yours to do with as you see fit. Don't move. Are you just trying to drive me mad? I can. I'll be your good boy. A very good boy. Por favor. Let me move. Oh, fuck. You're driving me mad, Angel. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll wait. I'll be patient. Oh, you like that. I can feel you tensing. Why torture us? Never. I am yours. Yours to use as you see fit. Ah, see, that's all you had to say. Better, right? I know. Five more minutes. Just let me have five more minutes. Night, Capitan. I trust you understand just how important this mission is. Your sir, Peron. My wife is stubborn, though. If you feel that she is in any danger, remove her. I will deal with her complaints when you return. Hmm? Her safety is all I care about, Knight Capitan. I know you know this, but I need you to know. Por favor. Keep her safe in my stead. Gracias. Safe travels, Knight Capitan. Angel? No, I will not. You have already made up your mind to go. Me begging you to stay would only slow you down. Si, si. Dos semanas. And not a day more. Or I will invade and you will have much to account for. (laughs) Be safe, mi amor. Promise me. Do not endanger yourself in any way. I forbid it. It's an order from a king to his queen, see, but also from a worried husband to his beloved wife. I'm not sure if it's apparent, but I'm actually quite fond of you. Oh, you knew that? (laughs) Bueno. Go. Quickly now, before I change my mind. And I, you. Farewell for now, mi amor. And there she goes. 
No, Chancellor. For once, I am glad to see you. I'm sure you have paperwork to distract me with, hmm? Good man. Let us then return. Welcome home, my precious daughter. I am happy to see you well. Plump, even. And how kind of you to come and bless us with a visit. Come and let me hug you. I see you've brought guests. Does your husband truly feel that you would be in such danger in your own home? Ah, yes. I've heard the rumors, how tyrannical he is. I must say, I'm shocked he let you out. From your letters, I had assumed he was more than content to keep you in his palace walls. Yet here you stand. Have you displeased him, I wonder? Oh, <laughs> Come now, I'm just teasing. I'm just a father, after all. I know little about the affair of my child's heart. My wife, God rest her soul, was always the one who knew about these things. Since her passing, I've tried to manage as well as I can. But you must admit, it's been hard with my son being exiled due to his fanatical nonsense, and then losing my beloved daughter to such an unfeeling man. Oh, is that so? Then I wonder, why are you not with child yet? Does he refuse to touch you? Hmm? Rude, not Captain. I'm simply checking in on the health of my daughter. After all, her one job is to bear an heir. Isn't that so? Yet it seems she has offended the king. I do hope he won't hold me and my people responsible for her failures. Then he gives her too much liberty. When she was a child, she was also so wild, truly a hellion, running here and there, escaping her lessons even dragging her poor brother into her shenanigans. But luckily, she outgrew such things. With my help, of course. I could always offer some tips if her rebellious nature has proven too much to... What is this, Night Captain? Do you dare to threaten me in front of the whole court? Ah, a misunderstanding. I see. I had heard the blood runs hot in that country. I suppose I can forgive this one instance. Anyway... Let us celebrate. My daughter has returned home. Musicians, play. Come, child. Speak with me a moment, won't you? In private. You understand, don't you, Night Captain? There are certain things that are only meant to stay between family. Let us go, daughter. <laughs> Chapter 2 
Leave us. Make sure we are not disturbed. So, you have been a disgrace once again to this family. Your only worth was in bearing an heir, and yet, months have passed, and you remain childless. Does the king not fancy you? Has he taken up a mistress? Oh, but it is my business. What are you doing here? What is this nonsense about you visiting home? You are not here by my invitation. The mere sight of you displeases me. <laughs> you foolish girl. Returning back here was a mistake. I suggest you get out of here while I'm still feeling gracious. You are a failure. Worthless. You corrupted your brother and turned him against me. And now you dare to show your worthless face back before me? What games are you playing at, girl? You bitch! You dare say that to me? I will have you thrown back in that worthless room where you came from! You dare to strike me! <laughs> You'd best run, girl. Because if you stay here, if you cause me trouble, I don't care if your husband is the mad tyrant. This is my kingdom, and I am the ruler. You will obey, or I will make you. The choice is yours. Guards! Her Highness is quite tired after her long journey. Escort her back to her chamber and see that she is made comfortable. It seems things must be sped up. Are you here? We must speak. What brings you here, viejo? <laughs> it seems you've gotten your wish. Your plan must be put into motion sooner than we expected. Por qué? Your brother's wife is here. And what better chance to make him suffer, hmm? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I am going to enjoy this view. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Huge thank you to Lupin Scripts for this audio. Uh, her script is amazing. As you may have already guessed, this one is a NSFW audio that was edited heavily for YouTube, and hopefully it was edited enough. I want you guys to get an idea of, like, kind of the come and going and kind of the relationship that um, Prince Sebastian has with the listener. Uh, but also... Um, this is kind of the last tender moment that the two will have for a while. Uh, if you've gotten to the end of the audio, obviously, um, the series takes a huge turn from here. Uh, going forward, it is no longer really NSFW. Um, it is very much um, kind of getting more action-packed and everything, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Um, I've got 
about two more episodes left uh, before I have to start editing beyond episode 11. Um, but I've already recorded the majority of the series. I just need to edit everything together. Uh, I haven't posted the rest on Reddit because my hope was to post it on YouTube for everyone to see since the rest of it is pretty safe for work. It just got intense action and stuff. Really looking forward to it. Um, I know you guys will enjoy it. Um, I look forward to, uh, obviously sharing this with you guys. Um, and a huge thank you to Escaped Audios for providing the voice of Rodrigo for this one. In the meantime, I want to give a huge shout out to all my patrons. Thank you all so very much for your time. And thank you all for listening. Be, be sure to favorite, like, share, and subscribe, and do all that stuff. And in the meantime, I'll catch you guys next time. Sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares.